All right, well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Richard, and this is Lap of the World. You are now joining me for kind of a, probably a little bit of a short video, but this is just the, the maiden voyage post-major service uh, for the NSX. Got everything buttoned up, everything hopefully torqued down appropriately last night. Um, for finished doing that rather last night. That did not, definitely did not happen all at once. Uh, but we are fixing to pull out here. We let the car warm up. It is stabilized at its little one tick below halfway on the uh, uh, coolant temp, which is pretty much where it's always sat, uh, even prior to new radiator and hose hardware and everything else. So that's a good sign. Oil pressure came right up again. So everything looks good there. So let's go for a little bit of a drive. All right, well, now that we're out of the neighborhood here a little bit, uh, let's see where we are with things. A, eh? do all of the uh, buttons work? Yep, fan speed still works. These cars don't like sitting electronically, and I apologize for the extra engine noise. I still have the interior uh, somewhat apart because I changed the throttle cable, and I figured I wanted to make sure that worked before I... Uh, <laughs> removed my easy access to it so um so yeah <laughs> there's a uh, no sound deadening on the interior but everything else looks okay feels okay throttle feels about like it should that was kind of a had a little bit of question with my final assembly there the um the little retaining clip that holds the throttle uh throttle cable assembly to the pedal um pedal box or yeah hold the throttle cable to the pedal assembly there's a little spring clip and mine got a little bit deformed so i had to find a replacement for that that's one of those parts that's been discontinued by honda so uh well discontinued for the nsx anyway i found it at a uh, uh thanks to uh joe for the tip there but uh japanese motorcycle enthusiast site had the same part number so found one there uh, got it put in place, and uh, the, the second one fit. I think the first one may have just gotten uh, deformed during disassembly, perhaps, but all is otherwise well. Um, yeah, so, so far, all the electronics seem to work still. All the blinkers work. I did check the tire pressures before I took off. Um, those were still kind of in spec. Brakes still work. <laughs> working on developing some feedback on other things, but otherwise, car shifts well, temperature hasn't moved. So yeah, I think we are probably, again, hopefully in good shape. This is always one of those things where I, I'm, I, I really uh, have this, have this desire, rather, I'm gonna go the other direction, have this desire to kind of shut up and listen. But it's again, it, it, it's, I'm not sure how much good it would do me right now because I have the sound deadening removed. So what the car would normally sound like inside isn't what the car would normally sound like inside. But uh, yeah, all seems well though. You are kind of learning this as I am learning this. This is not a uh, magic of television moment. This is actually first drive post major surgery, so to speak. So uh, <laughs> If I'm not sounding as eloquent as usual, it's because I am a cat in a room full of rocking chairs or whatever the southern colloquialism would be for cautiously optimistic but somewhat nervous as well. Okay, so we're doing good so far. We'll extend our loop a little bit here. This is Saturday, so I am kind of on a timetable because... I need to get back and, uh, well, okay, I forgot, clearly I'm too used to driving a Volkswagen with the clutch engagement point. Better I have my seat too far up, I'm not sure which. I had the seats out and had to move them all around, so you kind of got to dial back your, uh, yeah, wrists are good, but dial your uh, seating position back in a little bit, so. <laughs> to have uh, <laughs> another another notable point as I get up to, you know, 50 miles an hour or so right there. Uh, my uh, match marks for the rear, uh, 
rear camber and tow seem to have worked. The back end's not trying to wander all over the place, and then the uh, car still seems to track fairly straight. So with any, I'll probably will still go and uh, I don't know. I might not take it to full on get an alignment, but I know there's a. Uh, uh, I think it's a tire barn in town that will do a free quote unquote alignment check. So they'll throw it on the rack and get a base reading for it. And if it's good, then they don't charge you for you know if you don't need to make any changes, they don't charge you. Or at least it used to be the case. So maybe I'll hit them up and see if uh, see if that's still a thing, just to kind of make sure that it's back exactly how it should be before I go and do anything enthusiastic with it. But for the meantime, we seem to have met with some at least marginal success. So anyway, um, <laughs> I didn't have much else to talk about this time. This is more just maiden drive, um, <clears throat> you know, moment of moment of truth, if you will. Did I do things correctly? Is the car falling apart? Am I dying in a fire? You know, hopefully there's not a, uh, <laughs> hopefully there's not a hard cut right now to that. I did bolt the fire extinguisher back in though before I left. I, was like, I didn't put the passenger seat back in uh, in case the uh, throttle pedal needed uh, or throttle cable had any issue. I wanted to make sure I could still get to it without having to disassemble everything. But. Uh, I was like, I'm not going to put the seat back in, but I am going to bolt the fire extinguisher back in before I go on a first drive. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so far so good. Uh, just kind of tooling around town. Feels great. Um, kind of business as usual. So, seems like we have had some success. Again, I'm going to keep it to a short video today. I, I hope you guys have all enjoyed the major service series that we have now been done with. Uh, and this video will mark the, uh, again, kind of the first occasion of the NSX being back out in the world, continuing to accrue miles on our uh, path to 300,000 miles. And hopefully we should get there this year, but uh, yeah, I'm going to... going to deal with people that don't know how to use a blinker and uh, get back to the house so I can get registered to drive this sucker to Oregon at the end of the summer. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Richard. This is Lab of the World. I will see you guys all in the next video, if not at the track.